Welcome back to my channel. Sorry I've been me for so long. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, so today I'm back with a new video as you can kind of tell. And I'm going to be talking about my IKEA cabinet. Wow. So yeah, like everyone in quarantine, they somehow became addicted to plants. And I was one of them. Shout out to my friends for giving me plants. And yeah, I've somehow collected enough to fill a whole cabinet just because my room is really low light. So I decided let's give them the best. So I'm going to be giving you a tour of them. Yay! So let's get into it, shall we? Hey, it's me on the other side of the camera. So this is the IKEA Fabricor. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but the Fabricor cabinet. And I'll give you a little haul of what's inside. So at the top of the cabinet, I just have, you know, my trusty vinyl record and then I have a snake plant chilling in a Kmart pot. I think it was like $5, which is pretty good and it's so cute. Um, snake plants from Ikea. I also have two little artworks from Yuitsu Art on Instagram. She's one of my good friends and she gave me some of her prints, so check her out if you want to. And then I have some basic, you know, Kmart vine because my devil's ivy is not growing in time. And yeah, that's the top. I'll just bring you into the side so you kind of can see what I have chilling on the side. Okay, so don't mind the dust in the soil. I've been too lazy to do that. Um, this is a devil's ivy or a pothos. It's kind of variegated. I got it as a cutting from one of my friends, which is a real G, you know. Um, she's just chilling in a self-watering pot, sitting in another self-watering pot. In this big boy pot because I didn't want to plant her in it and I didn't have any like pots that would fit in it so I'm waiting for one day for her to trail down and look beautiful but right now she's just chilling in this Kmart pot Kmart pot stand yeah and down here I have a Syngonium I think it's Neon Tetra and she's chilling in Lekka and she's doing too, pretty good like before she was this huge plant, if I have a picture, I'll insert it. And I was like, this plant is too big for me to manage. So I decided to like cut it up and put her into like four different plants. And she kind of hated me for a bit for that. And then I chucked her in liquor. And yeah, she's happy again. I had no space to put it. So I just chucked it in this spot I got from Kmart as well. And yeah, down here I have a glass Coca-Cola can because, you know, food glass coca-cola can um i have a glass bottle of coke and it has my moisture meter in it that i got from bunnings and then i got distilled water you know doesn't everyone just have a whole thing distilled water in their room okay let's get into the cabinet so i know this cabinet's kind of expensive but i actually found it on marketplace for like 25 bucks so hashtag steal and yeah it was kind of like a whole trick to build but here i am you know giving you this haul so the only thing i don't like about this cabinet is that one of my keys is broken first of all second there's no like you can open it with the key but then you can't keep it shut without the key it'll just bounce open again which is kind of annoying but what can you do <laughs> okay so we'll open her up and we'll start on the bottom shelf so in the bottom shelf sorry i've got to sit down i'm too lazy <laughs> i have a kmart humidifier i think it's the ultrasonic humidifier it's pretty good it turned like there's a setting that makes it like reach a certain percent of humidity and then it'll turn off and then turn on again when it's ready so i love that this is actually my second humidifier because the first one i got kept leaking water so make sure you keep the receipts to exchange things um next i have this fan i got from i think daiso for two dollars eighty like ages ago and it's just chilling here um behind that let me see if i can ooh, see if i can move everything because i've got to show you something Let's get that out of there Okay, so I don't know if you could tell, but back there, wait, I have a better angle. So back here, I kind of forced my dad to drill a hole in my shelf so I could 
put the wires through because you know cable management and um it's the i think kenji cable cover i'll post like a picture of it so you know what i'm talking about and you just drill a hole here and then you plop it in and then all your cables are protected wow okay so let's get into the bottom cabinet i'll start with the back plan so i'll just move these bad boys away for now um i got this acrylic shelf from daiso for two dollars eighty pretty cheap i love daiso and we'll start with the plants so i've got this spitfire algonemia and it's unfurling a new leaf which is weird because it gave me this new leaf like a week ago and it took four months to come out same as this plant so i'm over these guys they're sitting in the back <laughs> um she has a broken oh my monster is attacking she has a broken leaf which causes her to like bend but i didn't want to cut her off because it looks so good you know like wow okay moving over um this is an agonemia cm aurora that i got from a lovely lady on facebook marketplace um she's giving me a new leaf as well and same thing this leaf took like ages to unfurl and i'm still kind of mad over it um both these plants are in an ikea pot and an ikea pot same as this pink one but i spray painted it white for that aesthetic and they're both in their nursery pots because we're not here trying to kill our plants yeah leave them there okay moving back I have this Monstera. This is actually one of like my first plants that I purchased. Um, she's in a nursery pot. I didn't want to repot her because I was like, damn, it's blue. It's kind of ugly, but I don't want to buy another pot. So yeah, she's given me two new leaves, I think. <laughs> and she's starting to give me some cheese. See here? Just waiting for her to unfurl. And then maybe we'll have more cheese in this leaf. But other than that, I love Baby Monstera more than the adult ones. She's kind of weird. So now I'm kind of sad she's like furnestating. I don't know. I'll put it there. I'm not that knowledgeable about plants. Yeah. So next I have a little propagation I've got going on. So she's just chilling. Because apparently plants do better in the dark. I don't know. I, I just keep it in there. Before I had her in a sock, it was pretty funny. So I have two Monstera, dead Monstera leaves, like, kind of propagating. Because I, I bought a clearance plant and I was like, I can save you. So I also have a watermelon peperomia chilling in here. It's growing a lot of roots, which I love that. See that? I'm just waiting for her to grow, like, I think little leaves so I can pot her. She's like a, a lid in this mason jar. It's funny. Um, so here are the roots. Wow, look at them grow. So proud of them. I actually never change this water. I just top it up when it's down, which I don't know is what you're supposed to do. But I think it's doing well so far. Everyone's growing roots. So happy days. Happy days. Put it back like nothing ever happened. And we'll roll up. Okay, second row. So... Oh, I didn't talk about this. I have grow lights in here. I have three. I think I bought five from eBay. I'll put a link if I find it. And um, two are tape, double-sided taped to the top. And one of them fell down. And then I was like, you know what? We'll make it work. It looks like a lower light. And then they're like a rainforest bottom canopy thing. And I have the switch in here. I'll just turn it off so you see my plant babies better. But yeah. Okay, so my second row. This is a little you know, overall what they look like. Have my light switch over here. I think we just talked about that, so short term memory loss. We'll start right in the front because I'm too lazy to deal with the back right now. Um, I have, I think, a Marble Queen. I chopped her up and decided to propagate her because she was a clearance plant as well, and I was like, I can save you. And believe it or not, this is probably one of my fastest growing plants. Like everyone says, that these grow slow but i've had her here for like two weeks and she's had one two another one there three three leaves growing so proud of her um she's in a kmart pot in the nursery pot of course over here i have a string of hearts nursery pot ikea pot and she's giving me a lot of new leaves which love that and she's so cute she's variegated you know the pink and everything 
Next to that, I have an Alocasia green velvet and Ikea pot still with the tags on, you know, in a clear um, pot. And she's giving me a new leaf. I, yep, a new leaf. And I just cut off one of her old leaves, so it makes sense if she was giving me a new leaf. Which is very good because she's so pretty. Okay, behind her I have a fiddle leaf fig who's giving me a new leaf back there. So pretty. I think it's going to get too tall for in here and then it's going to hate me after that. <laughs> um, she's in a nursery pot, in, her, in a Kmart pot. This pot is so heavy. Oh my god, I can't take a picture of it with one hand. <laughs> and yeah, we'll slide it back. Up here we've got the main baby, the watermelon peperomia. So pretty. This is one of like the rare plants that I bought, like one of the first. And yeah, everyone was like propagate it when you buy her. So it explains the propagation down there. She's in a terracotta pot I got from Flower Power with a little terracotta dish. Behind that is my newest addition sitting on a Daiso acrylic shelf again. It's a string of turtles. Look how cute she is. Um, I got her from Ikea, yes, yesterday. So she's pretty new. Um, I repotted her because I was like, what if there's a deaf plug? And there was, so lucky me. Um, I didn't know how to repot a string of turtles, so she's kind of like a toupee. I just slapped her on some soil, and I hope she doesn't hate me for that. <laughs> and next to her, I've got one of my friends gifted me this. It's a pink princess or a poo princess philodendron. And I chucked it in some lecker because I didn't know if she was doing anything in soil. But she's just chilling here being really big for no reason. And she might have a new leaf coming in soon if my camera focuses. Yeah. But she's looking good so far. And then in front of that, I've got my friend gifted me this beautiful baby. Syngonium Fantasy. It's still in like it's baby pot. But it's going to give me a new leaf soon and she looks gorgeous. But yeah, super excited for that. And that's my middle shelf. It's sitting, yeah. Move up now. So this is kind of where I keep my lecker babies. Because <laughs> I've been trying to get into semi-hydroponics. But I don't have like those bougie nutrients the other YouTubers have. I have water. <laughs> And no one's really hating me for it, so I'm going to take it. Up here, I also have my Hydrogrammeter. Hydrogrammeter? Hydrogna? I don't know. Dude, I have a mind blank right now. Okay, so this just tells me my humidity and the time. Time's wrong, of course. Temperature. Very cool. Um, in my cabinet, it's still kind of phasing out of winter. So it's been chilling on 65% humidity. Which is okay. I feel like summer is going to be fine without the whole humidifier shebang. But 63 is not bad. And yeah. So in here I have a little little jar of string of turtles. Because I was like, oh my god, what if I kill my whole string of turtles? I don't want to do with that. So I put it in a little jar with water. Yeah. <laughs> um, next to it I've got a philodendron Brazil that I found yesterday. At bunny inks and I've chucked her in this because my friends told me that they do great in hydro and her leaves are kind of like eating it but that's okay she'll get some love and she'll look big and beautiful in no time pop her on the side so I can show you the rest of the plants Ooh. okay so next to it I have a little Hoya heart in a mason jar um, I propagated this baby from just a cutting so I'm so proud of the root that's given me. You have no idea. Um, I'm not sure if she's going to turn into a whole plant. I hope she does, but I'm really doubting it because I cut it really bad. And this was before I really cared about plants. So yeah, we'll move her over. Next to her, I have my newest addition from Ikea as well, a Snow Queen. Or a Mandula. I'm thinking Snow Queen 100%, but if it was a Mandula... She's beautiful. Um, she's in a cup from Kmart, in Lekka, of course. There are her roots. She's chilling. She looks beautiful. And I think she was $7 at Ikea. She's not too shabby. Um, behind her, I have the gorgeous Alocasia Dragon Scale. I'll give you a nice view of her. Like, wow. Wow, she's kind of browning. Don't, don't look at that. <laughs> 
I'm just using Lekka. I put her in soil before and she did not like it. So I moved this one back up. Oh my god, she's so pretty. Oh, put her up here while I show you the rest of the back. Um back here I have another alocasia. Um these this is my first alocasia and I did not know how to look after these. So you'll you you could tell. <laughs> um this is one of my alocasias. It's uh Morocco. So it's doing so much better in Lekka than it did in the start, like in the soil, it full hated me. Um yeah, it's just ch chilling, doing its thing. I don't think it's going to give me new leaves yet because they look stubbed and hate, full of hate. So, yeah, we'll just move it back and pretend we didn't see it. Let's meet my attitude with a lot of plants. Just move them to the back, pretend you didn't see it. <laughs> just move these guys across. Move the little baby across. Um, here we've got a Snow Queen in Lekka. Um, I decided to water propagate her. She was doing fantastic in water propagation because I propagated it with my Hoya. So I don't know if they helped each other. But she's got a new leaf coming in. And her roots look gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yes. And yeah, this is her just chilling. Moving on to another alocasia. So that was the main plant, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And this was a baby that was connected next to it. Um, its stem broke before I even had it, but I decided because I wanted it to kind of have a leaf, so I put a cone of shame on it, and now she's getting too skinny, legend, and this cone keeps sliding off. But she's also in a lecker pot. She's got a new leaf coming in, so happy days. I, I do not look at this plant at all because I'm scared if I look at it, it's going to kill itself. <laughs> In Lekka, in a catch pot. I'll show you the roots so you kind of see. So before it was kind of like dying on me. But in Lekka, she, she blossoming. She gave me roots. So proud of her. We'll put her back so we don't look at her anymore. <laughs> Next to it, I have um, a mini Monstera. Also got on clearance from Bunnings. And um, she doesn't look the best. But that's okay. She chucked her in Lekka yesterday. So I hope she does better. Um, she's kind of hating herself, but it's okay because I cut those leaves to propagate her. So my five dollar steel could be pretty good. I'll put it back here again. Didn't touch her. And here I have one of the syngoniums, the neon tetra that I said hated me when I decided to split her from the main plant. But I've chucked her in Lekka to hope she does better, since all the other ones did better. Yeah. And I cut down the leaves because they were droopy and they were so big. Like the mother plant was huge. And yeah, there she is chilling. And here I have another Alocasia Morocco. Just in Lekka. I think I have two. Yep, two. This was one of the bulbs I found in the soil. And this is another bulb. And yeah, they're just chilling in Lekka. In a little mason jar. <laughs> That's the life, isn't it? So yeah. I'm going to chuck all these plants back and do a little outro for y'all. See you soon. Uh, oh, I lost my voice. <clears throat> so that's my whole plant cabinet set up. All my plants. Don't have any more. I don't think I could fill any more. But if I could get one more, it'd be a Thai constellation because they're beautiful. And they're a little bit expensive because of COVID. So I'm all good waiting. But yeah, that's my whole cabinet. If you have any questions, any worries about my plant, hit me up because I will read them and I will listen to you because I'm not that knowledgeable. But yeah, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you whenever. Bye. I also forgot to say, I have a plant Instagram at Genie's Plants if you ever want to see any more of my plants. Yeah. See ya.